Hello there guys, it's Math Dominus, and today I'm going to be talking about One Piece. For those of you who have been living under a rock, and it has to be some rock considering it's the most successful manga series, One Piece is a shonen manga series about pirates. You know, as a kid, I wanted to become a pirate myself. I watched the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, had the Mega Bloks Black Pearl, and watched my favorite episode of Spongebob, ARG. I wanted to put on a pirate hat, an eye patch, have a parrot on my shoulder, and sail the seven seas in search of buried treasure. But unfortunately, modern pirates are like this, so I quickly decided not to be a pirate. But don't worry, One Piece isn't about those kinds of pirates. Rather, it's based off the old age pirates. Our story is about Monkey D. Luffy, a young free-spirited fellow who ate a gum gum fruit, a devil fruit, mysterious fruits that grant their users superpowers, but makes them lose the ability to swim. Luffy dreams about becoming the king of the pirates, but to do that, he needs to find the One Piece, a legendary treasure left by the infamous and previous pirate king Goldie Roger, who left his treasure for anybody to find and caused the Great Pirate Era where many sailors became pirates in search for the One Piece. Anybody who becomes the king of the pirates becomes the freest man in the world. And Luffy wants to be one of them, so Luffy gathers a crew to find the One Piece. Part of Luffy's origin story is that when he was a kid, he idolized the infamous red-haired Shanks, who saved his ass but costing him an arm. He gave Luffy a straw hat and told him to return it only after he became a great pirate. So now that Luffy is all grown up, he got into many adventures. So many adventures that the series spans a thousand chapters and it's still going. Yeah, suffice to say there's a reason One Piece became one of the most successful franchises in history, and it was written by one guy. What got me into One Piece was a friend of mine who was a huge fan. At first, I didn't pay attention to it until a global pandemic made everybody quarantine themselves. So with nothing better to do, I watch One Piece on Hulu. Yeah, yeah, fucking Hulu. And that's how I got invested. What makes One Piece so interesting is that there really isn't no other anime or manga quite like it. It's got a goofy, cartoonishly unique art style with wild character designs. Pennywise looking mother- Oh wait, there actually is a clown pirate. And the series has a huge ass lore. Seriously, the world building for One Piece is so huge, there's so much stuff going on in this world, you could basically make a spin-off for each storyline and it still would barely scratch the surface. The world isn't the same as ours, it has four distinct oceans, one giant continent with a red line and in the middle of the planet's equator is the Grand Line. A mysterious route with many islands full of weird happenings, pretty much the whole adventure takes place on it. There's weird animals, large sea monsters called sea kings that are basically a regular sea life. And there's so much more that I can't explain it all in this one tiny video. But a unique art style and amazing world building wouldn't be much without a great story. One Piece follows Luffy on his adventure starting off as a rookie pirate. His personality is rather goofy and carefree. You get invested with Luffy and want to see how exactly does a guy like this become king of the pirates. He first needs to gather a crew to sail a ship to the Grand Line. He first recruits a swordsman, a bounty hunter named Zoro, who dreams of becoming the world's greatest swordsman. A little later on, they need a navigator, so they recruit this hot babe! <laughs> named Nami, who dreams of drawing a map of the whole world. Well, you know, there's the CEO of Google Maps. They then recruit this badass sniper, but admittedly a cowardly and a lying sniper, named Usopp, who dreams of being a brave man someday. But if you ask me, he's already a brave man. And for someone to cook for them, they recruit Sanji, a chivalrous pervert who uses his legs to fight instead of his hands, because he needs those hands to cook, you see. Now, this is just the starter pack of a crew, and I abridged this somewhat because there's a lot more story going on here, like how Zoro fights the actual greatest swordsman in the world, Mihawk, and Nami betraying the whole crew for a very big reason, but I won't get too deep into it because I think I'll leave it up to you guys to see for yourselves how the stories go. Now, after gathering a crew entering the Grand Line, they get all sorts of adventures. They meet with a giant whale who comes up later in the story, Finding out about a criminal conspiracy and escorting a princess to save a country? Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Oh my god, there's dinosaurs in this anime! Oh my god, dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs! Best anime! Okay, you know what? Top 10! Top 1! Meeting a fellow reindeer who becomes the doctor of the crew? 
going to a sky island and fighting Eminem. Morbius, I got that acrimonious odious. Cause the bats are copious. My blood flow is harmonious. Bow to acrimonious. You know that eternal drama that nearly brings them apart, but they're back together to save their friend, a hot archaeologist named Robin, who has a tragic backstory and is wanted by the whole world because she knows a hidden history. Then they meet up with a super shipwright cyborg with speedos. And then they meet a skeleton who sings and dances and is friends with everybody and even the whale that the straw hats encountered earlier i told you he comes up in the story later the straw hats get separated but eventually reunited and go on even more crazy adventures in a new world so much stuff happens in one piece that i could make videos on the individual arcs and they'd be an hour long each but i guess what keeps me interested is the characters who grow and get stronger to not only take on stronger enemies but also to learn lessons while still having the hope to accomplish their dreams you could say the main theme of One Piece is following your dreams. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. The characters go through struggles, the stakes are high, but in the end, by using what they've got and what they've learned, they can overcome even the toughest of foes because they believe they can accomplish their biggest and wildest dreams. The characters have endearing personalities. You learn their names, their interests, what their dreams are, what their arcs are going to be. And so you get invested with the story and want to see just how it all comes together, especially in a world full of villains who attempt to crush people's dreams and want absolute power. One Piece deals with darker themes of tyrannical rulers, slavery, racism, death, and other things that can bring some of the series' most saddest moments. It's about characters wanting to be free with who they are against people who would rather have control. It makes the pirates seem like the good guys in this world, despite the fact that, you know, they're pirates. Of course, they're not the typical rape and plunder type of pirates, they're just kind of, you know, they goof off and steal things kind of pirates. But of course, not all pirates are the good guys, the Straw Hats just happen to be the least evil. One Piece genuinely has some of the best storytelling I've ever seen for a manga anime series. And you know what, I highly recommend getting into One Piece. Yeah, the length of the series may be a bit of a turnoff, but that's why I recommend getting into the manga and read at your own pace. It's an adventure, not a chore. However, the anime is just as fun. It has its flaws, sure, and it does have a ton of filler, but if you know what to skip, then it becomes less tedious. If you find yourself having a difficult time to getting into the world of One Piece, it just may be too crazy for you. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. Not everybody can get into One Piece. It's definitely not a series for everyone. But for those who are intrigued, I highly recommend it. Trust me, it's worth it. One Piece is definitely the greatest manga of all time. I'm certainly a fan of One Piece. I mean, I started to collect figures of One Piece. Oh, mama. So don't be shy. Give One Piece a try. You'll never know if you'll like it. Oh, no. <laughs>